So this is the craziest laptop we've had here in a long time, in a while, at least that's what Will tells me. You know, I like to look at laptops, all the whole wide variety of them. The crazy stuff is happening on the gaming end, and that's where this guy comes in. We've looked at some, some unbelievable Predator laptops in the past. I don't know, it was like 20 pounds. The thing was nuts. It was like a briefcase. This one might hold a candle to that one. That's how wild what's inside of here actually is. This one is called the Predator Triton 900, and it's got a hinge unlike anything I've ever seen before. Yes, it's a gaming laptop. Yes, it's got top tier specs, but I'm most interested in seeing this hinge design because it's a completely new take, at least as far as what I've seen and definitely in a gaming laptop space for me. So, holy, I mean, you could tell straight away looking at the box, this is different. It's got a transformer vibe. It's got a mech warrior look. It has the Intel Core i9-9980HK processor, a 17-inch UHD IPS LCD panel. Graphics come in the form of GeForce RTX 2080 with eight gigabytes GDDR6, 512 plus 512 PCIe NVMe SSD RAID. Ooh, this must be the power brick. Ooh, they're not goofing with the power brick. Look at that bad boy right there, Jack. You see that? All right, that's how you know you have a real system going on. All right, none of this goofy little fancy boy type of laptop. This is what you carry around now, like a real man. You see that, Jack? Look at this experience we're about to have together, collectively. Woo ho ho! So this is a totally different idea. Like, it's still relatively slim for what it is. It's got some weight to it. What's the official weight on this, Will? So it's nine pounds, all right? So you won't want this to be in the backpack every day. Let's put it that way. Ooh, look at that. And then the magic part comes into play when you do this. Ooh, you never saw that, Jack. You don't know anything about that, you see? So it's got this dual mechanism. I guess you could flip it the other way if you wanted to show somebody something on the other side. Wow, you can bring this all the way down like there. If you have an external keyboard and mouse, you might want to. The footprint is, is smaller. You get the display closer to you, so therefore it's more immersive. The whole thing feels crazy sturdy as well. 3840 by 2160 display. You can see through this glass panel, you can see the heat pipe in there. You get this unusual trackpad. So the trackpad is kind of in portrait mode. I don't think that's such a big deal because most people that are looking at a laptop like this are also gonna be looking at an external mouse. All right, so as far as IO is concerned, there's a lock, power switch, Thunderbolt, USB, type C, uh, old school, old fashioned USB. You have a networking connection. There's another traditional USB port right there. You have analog audio jacks. What is this? Is that just an extra USB port that pivots? You, you press down here, it flicks out. And then the USB port is like that, and then it can push back in and hide. I believe, based on the documentation, that this is an Xbox controller port, but I assume this could work for any type of USB dongle that you want it to keep connected permanently without having it stick out the side of the laptop when you want to travel with it. Boom, you slide it in and it's protected in this region, and then you can just pop it out. All right, the remainder of the ports are on the back over here. You have a display port, HDMI port, and a power connector. There's also, as you can see, all kinds of grills in place for heat management. A laptop like this, you're gonna hook up a mouse, as far as I can tell. You're not gonna be specking out something crazy like this, paying these big bucks for the gaming hardware without hooking up one of these, in my opinion. It's a quick double tap to bring up the keypad, the number pad. I mean, did people, are humans using the number pad a lot? I don't know. Oh, it's also a touch screen. Jeez, there's a lot going on here. Now the screen actually looks really good. It's uh, super vibrant. The colors look good as well. It's a, an IPS LCD, so, I mean, this is about as good as it gets for that particular technology. Will says the keyboard is mechanical. It has a, you know I'm very particular with laptop keyboards. This is still low profile. You're not getting really nice big key switches, but there's a surprising amount of travel and clickiness here. Samsung Ooh, audio sounds pretty good. Compensation because Apple isn't selling enough Let's iPhones. What here. a weird... How much uh, volume they're going to need to produce to me. Uh, it's, I mean, it's it's fine, but it's definitely not what you would expect. This is something that's weird that happens. Is like 
you get this really big beefy laptop and you're like oh yeah there's plenty of space for speakers this thing should pound and then that's often not the case i've heard laptops a lot louder than this that are not as big and bulky as this i don't know there's something charming about this laptop uh, the speakers aren't that good i'm charmed though let's get will in here come on will let's go what are we doing here overwatch willie do resident game expert overwatch champion <laughs> i dabble on overwatch not a big a dabbler some yeah. say okay we're gonna catch a look now at the intention of a laptop like this in its natural Ooh. habitat Ooh. Uh, oh did you turn on the frames will oh there it goes jumped up ain't no limit to this do you remember no limit the record label Competitive. Oh, we have a heel. Overwatch League competitor. What's the name of the Toronto team? Defiant. Toronto Defiant. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're the substitute. Okay. If they're missing a player, Defiant gets Willie Do. But you gotta get you get Otis as well if you get Willie Do. You get both. <laughs> Take the it keyboard's easy. really nice. Eh? The keyboard is nice. I like it. Oh, so this is one of the one of the characters that flies. Yep. It's kind of a flight. Oh, there's a bastion over there. There we go. There's a kill. Look at you. You should have a jersey on right now. I'm gonna do this. There you go. <laughs> but the fans are kicking up now. Yeah. You got the fans going now, so we're getting our first taste of not too bad though not yet it's acceptable i can deal i can live with that will is so focused right oh now i've never God, seen him so like this before i've never seen will like I'm this i'm just before. getting a kill right now hold on will is so into this right now oh my god there's so much happening yeah there's a lot of things happening Bob is coming out. Uh, yes, Willie do. How about the display? Uh, it's nice. Pretty smooth, mm -hmm. I would say. It's only 60 hertz, so yeah. your monitor might be... There you go. Your monitor might be a slight <coughs> difference, but it's 4K though. 4K, yeah. It does make a difference too. But I think it's more about the um, milliseconds. Response time. Response time, yeah. Okay. It's part of the trade, it's a part of the deal. Mm -hmm. That you're gonna... <laughs> that was a pretty good game, I was just thinking about it right now. But yeah, but, you know, yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty rare for me. So yeah, I hope you caught that, that was, a, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry, go on, go on. I never saw Willie do like this. We were trying to move on with the video, well, and he's yeah. Overwatch is my game. That's uh, I'm pretty. I yeah, I enjoy it. He's sitting there admiring what he just did. Yeah, it was a fun. Uh, it was a fun round. I would have to say. <laughs> Let's close it up. Let's. Uh... <laughs> you yeah. got lost in the moment. I did. I think it's because you were gone. Moment. You were somewhere else. Yeah. You weren't here anymore. Yeah. The 17-inch display, I feel like it's really immersive. You're close to like it. So close to it, and like the keyboard's right there. It's it's a nice setup. You had a time. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm glad we brought you on for this you one. You should uh, give it a shot. I'm glad we brought you on for this one. This hinge really changes the experience. It does, yeah. That's a big difference. That's a big gap from there to there. It changes the feeling of it. Yeah. I was looking at your expression. <laughs> I was drooling. <laughs> I never saw you like that before. So yeah, I think that's yeah. a weird kind of uh, a, a way to evaluate the effectiveness of a product. 3,000. So it starts at 3,800. $3,800! Yeah. Will. It's a pretty penny. Will. Yeah. Will. Let's just take a moment. Uh, Let's just look at this Transformer-esque slab of a thing. I think this might be the one too. <laughs> I'm telling you, I never saw him like this, guys. He's in love. I think he's in love. Is this love? Uh. It's the Triton 900. Predator Triton 900. It's a cool thing on planet Earth. Very Agreed? Cool. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. <laughs>